Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt. I'm a photo estate planner and the owner of Pixology. We are your go-to experts in providing motivation and education regarding photo saving apps, software, and tools. One of my viewers recently asked about Movavi Photo Manager. Movavi's been around since 2004 when it was a startup and now currently is an international business with products sold in more than 200 countries. I tried Movavi Photo Manager out using the three-day trial. You can purchase it for $39.95 to $79.95 depending upon the features you want to, it to include. So let's go over the basic user interface for Movavi. Here we are in Movavi Photo Manager and it looks similar to a lot of photo management programs. We have this left navigation pane which gives us different views and ways to look at our pictures. Right now we are looking at my pictures, the unsorted ones. You can see if I click on all photos there's more. I have put some of my photos in albums, so that's why the unsorted only shows 110. That is a useful feature. So moving along, we have the all photos and then we have albums. I have two created here to demonstrate how you make the albums. Note the sort by so that you can change your sorting by name or by date created. Next up, there is a similar photos feature. You can go through the similar photos and see if you can eliminate a couple of your pictures that are repetitive. Next on the navigation pane is favorites. So if you have a favorite photo, let's just click on this heart here. Now I have one photo in my favorites view. Next up is places. If your location has been turned on on your phone or your camera is fancy enough to digitally record where the picture was taken with its GPS coordinates, the places will automatically show here. The next one is people and this is really useful. So you can add a name, you know, if you know who this is, this is me from quite a long time ago. And I'll just hit OK. So now I have one person that I have identified and I could go through and do more. Then there is the ability to add tags to pictures. So I like to look at the unsorted. I feel like that's where it's a good place to start, you know, in a, the organization process. This upload photos is Movavi's way of bringing photos into the program. I think that's kind of unusual way to phrase it. Usually it would be import photos, so I'm not sure I care for that. When you want to import or upload photos, you click here, and I just clicked MB demo files before, and it loaded them all in. So that's these 130 or so pictures are from my demo folder. When you select a picture, you do get more options along the top here. So this is an autocorrect, and then there's rotate, and there's a couple flipping horizontally, vertically, leveling it, resizing it. So if you want to make an 8x10 out of a picture, you can work with it in this resizing area. Rename, favorite, tag, find duplicates, add to an album, export and then delete. When you open a photo, you do get a, another option that shows up here to open in Movavi Photo Editor. I haven't downloaded that, um, but what it tells me is, is the basic photo manager does not have editing ability. You have to purchase that as an additional feature. All right, the next thing that I like to look at is the information for a photo and there's a little icon with the eye down here and you can see the file name, the path here, which is telling me that Movavi is simply looking into my folders. There is no actual importing into the program. It's my original photo here, okay? 
I have no ability to edit the date created or to add a description. Now, the last thing that I realized, which I think is unusual for a photo manager, at least the ones that I've reviewed, is that these pictures are living in their original folder. Interestingly, with Movavi, if you start working with your pictures in their original folders, it will affect your pictures that you have in Photo Manager. So watch this. I have just opened my Finder on my Mac and I have 6814 selected here. That is this picture. If you see that 6814. So I'm going to delete it in the original folder. I'm going to move it to the trash. And then here in Movavi it says 6814 not found. I think this is a really big flaw in the program. If you move your photos from their original place on your computer or you delete them, Movavi no longer has access to it and I think that's a problem. For my overall review, there are four features I think that are very important for a photo management program to have. You need to be able to organize by folders or albums. And so being able to organize by the albums, yes, Movavi does allow you to do this. When I click on albums, I can create a new album and go right from there and get the pictures I want into it. I like that. And I like the unsorted that tells you which pictures need an album. So let's just take this group and it doesn't even let me select the one that's not found. And then we are going to click that add to album icon and I'm just going to name this 2021 pictures. Now they're out of my unsorted and they're in the albums. The second thing I think a program needs to be able to do is to add and edit metadata. With these pictures and that I button, there is no way to change the metadata of the picture. It gets a thumbs down for that feature. There also is no backup feature. This is the third thing I think a program needs to do for you. It needs to help you automatically back up your pictures and there is no backup. The last thing that's really important about a photo management program is I have to like using it because I want you to use this routinely. You will never remember all the tips and tricks of using a program if you aren't using it weekly. And keeping up with your pictures, is that's important too. Overall, I think the interface is just not quite right for what I want to get out of a photo management program. When I look at these four things, only one is met. So my review of Movavi Photo Manager is that it meets one of my four essential features. You can organize by albums. You can't add and edit metadata. There's no backup and I really don't like using this framework myself. You might find this something that you can work with and have at it. Using something is better than nothing. Just remember that when you're working with the pictures in Movavi, the original pictures are still living on your computer and if you do something with them on another place, it will affect your work in the Photo Manager program. What do you think? Do you like Movavi? Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear it. And that's it for now. Whatever program you use, do use it routinely and I wish you the best on your photo organizing journey.